ओम शांति टुडेज टॉपिक इज हाउ टू एकोमोलेट स्पिरिचुअल ट्रेजर्स सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट स्पिरिचुअल ट्रेजर्स आई थिंक वी आर सो फॉर्चुनेट बाबा हैज फील्ड आवर एप्रन विद डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ ट्रेजर्स एंड वी बाबा चिल्ड्रन आर लाइक प्रिंस एंड प्रिंसेस हु ऑलवेज प्ले and who are always sustained with different kinds of treasures we already got so many treasures so whenever we think about the treasures if we make a list of the treasures and i think it will be difficult to count how many treasures baba has given to us few of the treasures i will mention the names and if you keep on counting and counting if you keep on writing on your diary and there is no end for this as there is a praise for god if you make the whole world into a paper if you transfer the all trees into pen the virtues the praise of god cannot be written in the same way the treasures which baba has given to us that are so many but how can we keep all the treasures in our life and how can we sustain ourselves with all the treasures and how can we get experience in bahaman life with all the treasures so first of all we see baba has given the treasures of knowledge the treasures of light might the treasures of all the powers and the treasures of all the qualities and all the virtues besides this we are so fortunate as soon as we recognized baba as soon as we said baba and baba said you are my child baba gave us baba decorated us with different kinds of titles he says you are an angel you are lighthouse you are might house you are the shining star you are the flying angels so many titles he gave as we entered to baba's house we have not seen any institution any place where you get titles first and make efforts later if you want to become a doctor if you want to get a degree of engineer or scientist you have to study for so many years and you have to study for particular subject even after that study you have to do more practice for that then only you are called qualified doctor or qualified engineer 
but without doing any practice we get first title and then later we come to know what is this and what is the meaning of that so how fortunate we are so how can we keep all these treasures in our life first of all we should also have the value of all the treasures if we don't have the value of all the treasures then we cannot keep all those treasures with us baba is giving us so many treasures since morning till night if we count how many treasures he has given to us but we are taking we are listening and they are coming to us and they are like uh, the fountain of treasures is always on the top of our head it is coming but we are so relaxed we don't know what is the value of that and we don't make use of those treasures in our life like this morning ba was mentioning about the blessings as baba says that you are the best ever of blessings you are the one you are the guiding force for everyone so we have to check whether we have become the best tower of blessings or not are still we are looking for the blessings are still we are begging for blessings in the morning when we sit in baba's remembrance we ask baba today you give me this i want this i want to have the experience of this i don't have the experience of this and that or today in the meditation i will get this kind of experience so the stage becomes like a beggar baba gave all the titles baba gave us all the blessings but still we are asking for those blessings but we have not understood the meaning the value of those blessings and we don't have the realization of those blessings and secondly what are the value of those blessings we have to understand i would like to tell you the story how in the olden age some people were innocent they did not know they did not know the value of the things and they were making misuse of those things once what happened there was one king and he went for hunting to a forest and he lost his way and he was so tired and looking for something to eat and for to drink and after a few minutes he saw a little house and he went there and the little boy and one old man was sitting there and those person they served the king with water they gave a nice food like the food from the village and king was satisfied and he saw these are very poor people so he said okay i have to give something in return so he said in one corner place i have a, such a big garden of sandalwoods so i give you in return of my services so he gave that garden to those poor people and told them you can use this garden so after some time king remembered let me go and see these two people poor people must have become very rich person because they got a sandalwood garden and uh, they must be having lot of money and let me go and see 
So when he went there, there was a no tree of sandalwood. Only one or two were left. And he was so surprised, he said, what happened? Then he looked for those persons and he checked. What you did with that? They said, because they were the wood and we used all the wood for our cooking food and for our purpose. The king said, oh, what you have done? This is so expensive thing and you don't know what is the value of this expensive thing. And then king explained, okay, does not matter if he lost such a big garden, but still there are two trees are there. If you take little piece of that tree, go to the city, sell this, and how much money you will get it. And they did the, in the same way, and after some time they got a lot of money, and with those two trees, they became rich again. And that is why Baba also checks all the children since morning till night. When we listen Baba's Avyakt Murli, Baba always mentions in the Murli, there is a very big TV with Baba, and Baba looks the account, the activities of each and every child. Baba knows how many treasures they are collecting and how they are using the treasures, whether they are using or whether they are putting in somewhere. In Lokic word, we see there's some treasure, people keep on collecting and collecting, they keep those treasures. They say, when the need be, we will use it. They keep on keeping in the bank account, sometimes in the locker, sometimes they are hiding, sometimes they are putting one place and taking from one place to another place. But still they are so much worried about those treasures, the thief should not come, such and such person should not come, they will take their treasures, what will happen? So they are very much worried. But Baba says, these treasures are the one which you have to use more and more. If you don't use those treasures in your life, they will automatically be stolen by the thieves, that means by five vices. That means they will automatically go away. That won't remain with you. So first thing is that to keep all the treasures we have to understand the value of those treasures as Baba and Dadis. They were paying, they are paying lot of attention on each and every point of Murli. They don't want to miss one point from Baba Smurli. Baba always mentions in the Murli because any time, any point can come that can strike in your mind, that can change your life, that can change your way of efforts. I give you an example about Didi. Didi was very much particular about Baba Smurli. In the morning class, when Didi was listening Baba Smurli, she was paying a lot of attention on that. And after the Murli class, Didi used to ask the questions. Nowadays we have questions on the top of the Murli from Every day is Murli. 
So Didi used to ask the question, and Didi used to make each and every one fail. And she used to pull the ears and used to tell, you are not paying attention on the murli. Not only this, what she used to do it in the morning, what happened at that time? We were, because of a post, mail has to go at 10 o'clock. And after murli class, we were coming and immediately writing the letters. And after 10 o'clock, he had, used to have breakfast, and then he, he used to call, and used to ask the questions from Baba Smurli. And due to any reason we miss or uh, we have forgotten, what we used to do, because she will pull our ears, what we used to do before going to her, we used to read the Murli. Because she will pull our ears, you have forgotten. And that was the way to teach us how to go into depth of the murli, how to understand the value of each and every point. And when we remember the point, we automatically use that point in our life. And that was the easiest way to become an embodiment of all the points which Baba mentioned in the Murli. And other treasures for Brahmins, that is the embodiment of each and every point, the embodiment of all the qualities, or we can say the experience of all the points of knowledge. As Baba every day tells us that you are the master. You are master knowledge whom, you are master powerful, you are master teacher. All the time Baba mentions that you are the master. You know what is the meaning of master? Who knows what is the meaning of master? The word master, the meaning of the word master, that is the one who is the authority of the subject. And Baba says, you are master knowledgeful. We are the authority of knowledge, but we don't understand the points. We have not taken that knowledge in our life. Because when we say, when someone is going to do something, we say, okay, doesn't matter, let him go, let that person go, because he's very much experienced of that. He's the master of that. Master means he's, he knows each and every part of that thing. He has full authority. He is the experienced of that knowledge. Then only we say he is the master. Baba gave us the title and we still keep on asking, we have not understood this point. Baba says the meaning of, what is the meaning of drama? Baba gave this topic point of drama to give full stop. We still keep on asking for each and every point, what is the meaning of this? I'm confused with this point. Baba mentions so many times in the Murli, but I don't agree with this point. On the one side, you have a title. On the other side, we say, I'm not agree with this point. I'm disturbed with this point. I can't understand what is that. See? You understand that point, you know that point very well, but you have not gone into the depth of that point. We have not understood the proper meaning of that point. For example, Baba always mentions that all are making efforts according to drama. 
What we do? We are so happy. Whatever is in drama, we will do it. Brahma Baba knew that he is going to be Shri Naran. But Baba paid more attention. Baba said, I am going to become a Shri Naran. I have to feel all the qualities. Each and every virtue in my life, then only I can become Shri Naran. Otherwise, I won't become Shri Naran. So Baba used to pay attention on his efforts since morning till midnight. Baba used to awake in the night, used to sit in silence and pay more attention on self-transformation. And we think we will come in the golden age world. And we are coming in the golden age world. Okay, whatever status we'll get, it is all right. So how we have taken drama and how can we keep that invaluable treasure with us if we don't pay attention on this? Some they make efforts and some they don't like to make efforts. Baba says you will, you will be coming into, in the royal families. And if we see the sanskar, the nature, the activities of the <coughs> royal families, whether we have imbibed all those sanskars, all those qualities in our life, whether we have changed our nature or not. So what we have to do it, we have to become experienced of each and every point, then only we can keep the treasures with us. There is a saying in Hindi, I speak in Hindi, then I will translate in English. Jahan na pahunche ravi, waha pahunche kavi. Jahan na pahunche kavi, waha pahunche anbhavi. It is said, where the sun cannot reach, Poet can reach to that place. Because the poet, with his imagination, he can reach to that place. Where the poet cannot reach, the experienced person can reach to that place. Because the poet is living in the imagination, and the experienced person lives in the reality. Experienced person has authority. I would like to tell you one story which uh, I, we used to heard from our grandmothers and father. So how the experienced persons, they deal each and every situation in a very relaxed way, in such a way, they are never disturbed. Like we see Brahma Baba and Mama, whenever any adverse situation were coming in front of them, what Baba used to tell? Baba used to tell, today, they are abusing you. You know, in the beginning, people were not understanding this knowledge. And some were arguing. Some were abusing. Baba used to tell, you don't know how many bhaktas you have. Those who are abusing you, they are your bhakts.
people in the world they don't understand they don't know the value of that and that is why they are doing like that they are acting like that but they are creating their karmic account and you are the one finishing your karmic account such a big secret such a nice thing for us which we have not understood baba knew and that is why baba was all the time in super senses joy in all kinds of the adverse situations so the story which i was going to tell you what happened in the olden age once what happened there was a marriage and then when the marriage procession went to a girl's house and the people from that they demanded a lot they said we will do but they they demand, first said when you the marriage procession will come here but no old person is join in this marriage procession they said okay because in the olden age the old person they were more experienced but the people from that marriage procession they hired one old person and they left that old person one or two miles away so when they went to the marriage place and the people from other party they started to argue they said we will do marriage when you give to us so much thing because we have one some big place and you have to fill that one and there was a small pond full of water and they said if you give us this and that thing then it will be full then only we do that and these young people were so much disturbed what to do what answer we should do we can't do we don't have so much capacity and out of that marriage procession one person suddenly ran away from there and went to that old man experienced person he said this is a problem what to do he said why you are worry don't worry about this so easy you tell them okay we listen to your point but you have to listen our one point the point is that first you make that pond empty take all the water out then we will fill your pond and it was so difficult to take the water out to in one or two hours then they realize there must be one experienced person in that uh, procession who guided otherwise these young people cannot understand so these are the stories they give us inspiration so whenever we have experience of any point Baba says you become an embodiment of only one point and other points will automatically come in your life we have not become an embodiment of a one point still we keep on chanting the mantra keep on mentioning i got this knowledge okay baba said this baba said this we are happy but what we gained in our life that we have not gained in our life if we go into the depth of only one point soul the big tree of soul is there what is the soul what are the qualities of the soul the soul was pure and soul is the one who is playing the role if you keep on thinking on soul consciousness and that only one stage will automatically give us all kinds of the treasures and with that point and we will all the time becoming conscious of all the points of the knowledge and we have to take one one point churn on each and every point brahma baba 
he churned each and every point and whenever people outside and bhikkhus were coming in front of baba baba used to say oh my sweet child only this much word and children were more in that consciousness why because baba was in that stage baba never saw the shortcomings of the children baba as always was looking at the perfect stage of each and every child baba was looking the future of each and every child even now it is when we go in front of avyakt baba we listen avyakt baba smoothly and how much baba talks about the children baba always mention the qualities of the children if we see whether i have all those qualities in me or not we have not taken all those qualities but baba is mentioning the qualities of the children you will do this you can do this you have this you are the uh, victorious jewel whether we, we are victorious or not whether we are still fighting with the maya we say baba today this maya came today my stage is too weak today i am sad today i don't have this i did not gain so much experience in yoga baba is giving to us and we are talking to baba i did not get the experience in yoga so we have to see whether we have become in the authority of or not and third thing baba has given us so many jewels we are not satisfied with those jewels we keep on looking the jewels of others how we keep on looking and how we are making ourselves unhappy and because of that unhappiness we are losing our all the treasures we think such and such sister and brother have so much knowledge they are in this knowledge from the last so many years they get lot of sustenance from the seniors we don't get so much sustenance these seniors they don't pay attention on us they look for others nowadays they don't pay attention on us before that they were paying attention on us so by seeing others we are making ourselves sad the treasures we got we are also sad for those treasures how how this happens i tell you one story about this in bhakti cult it is said if anyone goes to temple they always get something even if we see the king and queen emperors of the corporates any person used to go to the palace they were not being sent empty handed they were given something and what happened once few devotee they went to a temple they remembered god there were so many devotees and god was giving to each and every devotee something but due to some reasons four devotees were left they could not get and they came back god saw these devotees have gone empty handed 
and it was too late, it was getting dark and they were going back. And God said, I have to give, I cannot send them empty handed. So what happened when they were going on the top, the voice came, stop, stop. So they stopped. And then the voice came, bow down, bow down. They bow down. And then the voice came, take the stones, take the stones. And these devotees thought there may be some animals on the way or decoys on the way and someone is guiding us to take the stone. So they took the sto uh, stones and put in their pocket. They said when there will be a need, so they will use it. So and then the voice came, keep on going ahead. Don't see behind, keep on going ahead. So they were going ahead. But nothing was on the way, no one came on the way. In the morning when they reached to their houses, they said, okay, let's check. What is this? What are these stones? When they checked, they were not the stones, they were the diamonds. And some were very happy that we got the diamonds. And two were happy and two started to cry. If we knew these are the diamonds, we, have must, we must have taken more. And they were crying and crying. What is our fortune? Why we have taken less? These two people have taken more and we have taken less. Our fortune is like that. Wherever we get, we always get the less thing. We don't get so many things. See, they were empty handed. They did not have anything in their hand. And due to their fortune, they got the diamonds. Even with those few diamonds, they can become a multi-millionaire. But the nature of dissatisfaction, the nature of criticizing, the nature of looking at others, the nature to compare with others, they never give satisfaction. They never give happiness. And that was the reason they were crying and others were happy. In Brahmi life, why I gave this example? In Brahmi life, you see, in comparison of the worldly people, how much we are sustained. We are sustained with divine love. Baba is sustaining us. Every day Baba is giving us so much. He is sustaining us. Then Dadis, they give us so much love. Every day keep on asking, do you want anything? Is there any problem? Is anything there? You need any? If you want any help in, for your efforts, they keep on asking. Still, we look at others. Such and such got this sustenance. But the sustenance we are getting, let's make the use of that sustenance. Let's become the embodiment of those sustenance. We are not becoming the embodiment of those sustenance. And due to that consciousness, our whole treasures become useless for us. All the treasures are with us. The treasure of knowledge is with us. The qualities are with us. The virtues are with us. And Baba has decorated with, uh, with all the qualities. Even Avyakt Baba, when we are sitting in front of Avyakt Baba, the person who is sitting behind, the person who is sitting at the end of the hall, the person who is sitting outside the hall, Baba's drishti goes to that person. Baba remembers that person. And Baba never gives one thing to one, Baba gives to everyone. 
but our attention is not on those points if you see in the worldly life when any person meets to a high authority he will become very much conscious of that let me take the photo photo of the president and prime minister i met the prime minister and president they take the photo and then always keep on mentioning we had this photo we met prime minister we met president and here the highest authority of the whole world is with us we are not conscious of that we are listening by us merely our attention is somewhere else and we are missing the treasures and that is why we have not become the embodiment of all those treasures and that is why we have we have not reached to the perfect stage once what happened one sister went into trance trance messenger and went to certain reason and uh, when she went there there was a curtain and she asked question from baba baba the curtain is there who are behind the curtain and baba said wait she was so very much anxious to know who are behind the curtain she said to baba baba open this curtain baba said no the time is not there to open this curtain she said why don't you open this curtain i want to see what is this baba said okay i open for you and still there's no time but you are insisting i open for you when the curtain was open all the brahmins were there they were in different position someone's hand was up someone's hand was like this someone's feet were like that some were were decorated and someone's crown was other side that crown was half decorated and half is not decorated and the trans messenger started to laugh baba said why are you are laughing she said this scene looks so funny and uh, some are decorated some are half decorated the crown is up uh, coming it is not in a proper situation and baba said that is why baba was mentioning the time has not come to open the curtain baba said all these children they are still behind the curtain why because they have not decorated themselves fully and that is why their scenes are in that way they are devotees looking for them they want to have a vision of those the uh, their uh, gods and goddesses but these god and goddesses are so relaxed they are take lot of time to come in the stage of perfection and then baba mentioned that now the time is there to pay more and more attention and baba has given us all kinds of the treasures to decorate yourself baba has given us the crown baba has given us the bindi baba has given us the uh, all the ornaments for our neck for uh, garland for putting in our hand baba has given us but we are not using those ornaments in our practical life so baba says if you think every day that what crown what kind of crown baba has given to me and how many crowns have been given to each and every child even this consciousness will fill you with all the treasures for example you have been given the crown that means responsibility to do the service of this particular place 
to do the service of particular department. You have given the responsibility to do a little bit work. What will you do it? You will get the knowledge for that. You will pay attention for that. You will become more accurate. You will become more alert, more active. When you become more alert, more active, automatically the treasures will come to you. If you don't have the treasures, and how you will distribute to others? And that is why Baba has given us so many responsibilities. The one responsibility is there, there to look after the center. But some sisters and brothers, they are not staying in the center. They, say, they will say, we don't have that responsibility. But you have the responsibility to maintain the center, to participate different kinds of the services, to do Baba's service by the qualities, by the arts which Baba has given to you. But what we do, we become over arrogant of our qualities, our specialties. When we came to Baba, we didn't have any quality, any specialty. Baba filled all those specialties, Baba gave all the qualities. And after that, what we do? We say, okay, I can do this. If I don't do, let's see who can do this. Let them do. So we challenge. Baba says, you have not come here to challenge. You have come here to challenge the Maya. Not with your specialties. If you keep on using your specialties in a very polite way, you will become full of all the virtues. You will become full of all the qualities. As Brahma Baba, he was very polite in each and everything. Brahma Baba used to say that I have to do service of the whole world. Baba used to do service by knowledge. Whosoever was coming in front of Baba, Baba was giving blessing to them. Baba was not sending each and every child empty-handed. Even Baba was not sending each and every child without giving any gift. And this is what we see in our dadis. You see Dadi Janki? Whenever we go there, she always talks about knowledge. Some are afraid to go in front of her. She will give this point. She will ask how you are making effort. She will pull my ears. And some they go there, they bring all the blessings. Those who are not full with their blessings, those who have not made use of those, that knowledge, they are afraid of listening knowledge. They are afraid of listening points of knowledge from seniors, from daddies, and from other sisters and brothers. But it is good if they give you, take, take more and more. The time will come that will become useful to you. You know, in the beginning, these daddies and Brahma was very strict for following all the principles. At that time, those who were making use of this knowledge, they liked it. And those who were not making use of that knowledge, they did not like it. And those who used that, all the points, they became the founding stone. And they became so strong in this knowledge. 
So what happens in the beginning, we don't understand. We think of so much knowledge, this is too much. I can't take this knowledge. I can't do this service. This is too much for me. Baba says, keep yourself relaxed. If you can't do so much, take little, little. But do it by heart. Be an embodiment of that. If you can't do any service, Baba says, at least you can spread the vibrations of pure vibrations. If you can't do anything, you can utter nice words. You can say few words of blessings that can give the feather of enthusiasm to others. If you can't do anything, okay, then you go and sit in Baba's remembrance. You know, when the old sisters were coming in front of Baba, they were always saying, Baba, I'm not doing this service, what should I do? Baba said, oh, you, if you're not doing the service, you can do more service. You sit in Baba's remembrance, spread the vibrations of yoga, see, your whole subject will be in front of you. So Baba has taught us different ways to collect all the treasures. But we want to do one or two and we want to make sure of our ways. Whatever I do, people should know I'm doing this. But Baba never made show of his efforts. Like Mama, Mama was making all the efforts in a very incognito way. Mama was taking each and every point from Baba's smurli. And when my mama was looking that such and such system brother has this and that quality, mama was encouraging those sisters and brothers. By that encouragement, that treasures of those values came automatically in mama. So what we do, we are afraid by seeing the qualities of each and every one. We compare ourselves with the qualities. Dadi Janki, what she does, she also encourages, gives enthusiasm to each and every one to go ahead in this path of knowledge. So whenever she gives encouragement, and she's getting all those qualities. She's becoming embodiment of all perfection, and she's getting all the treasures in herself, and she has become the master of all the treasures. We have the quality, we go and ask the question from her, but she is the authority of that subject. How? Because she gives encouragement. And other thing is that, to keep all the qualities with ourselves, we should also have love for Baba, pure love for Baba, pure love for knowledge, love for Brahmin family, and love for self, and respect for Baba, respect for seniors, respect for Baba's task, and respect for the task, work which is going on. Baba says, we know the work which is going on 
Baba has given the responsibility of the task of the world transformation to make a big divine family, to create our fortune, to establish our kingdom. Baba has given this responsibility to the innocent sisters, uneducated sisters and brothers. They don't know the proper way sometime. But Baba says, when I am given the responsibility to these people, I am responsible for that. So what we have to do it, we know 